Cheers, and welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren, and today I'm going to be looking at Let's Game It Out. Uh, people order coffee, and I... Coffee? Coffee. People order coffee, and I serve them suffering. I feel like this is going to be incredibly cathartic for me. Um, as a weekend barista, um, I, I, well, I'm so, so desperate to see some of these customers get what a lot of customers deserve. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you know, I don't think there's going to be building or anything in this particular, uh, one, but, oh God, I just cannot wait. It's called, it's like from a game Espresso Tycoon. I just want to torture people with, <laughs> I'm excited for this one, you guys. I just, <laughs> it's going to make me very happy. I am sure. So, Let's begin. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing Hi, some Espresso Tycoon today, and as somebody who worked in a coffee shop in college, boy am I excited. Because now I can finally do all the things I wasn't allowed to do when I worked there. And also, developers, thank you for a key. I'm sorry in advance. And also, I... Hey, did you hear that? Well, that must be Opera GX, the browser for gamers and also people with love in their hearts. So let's get the essentials out of the way first. It's easy to switch. Bookmarks, all your settings. It just takes a few clicks and all that stuff is imported. You can also install Chrome extensions and they all work right in Opera GX. But you know what I didn't realize I needed until now? Mods, silly, amusing mods. Hey, you want every key press to be a fart? Well, now you can. <laughs> Or how about a Let's Game It Out mod, officially made by Opera GX. It makes cute little noises when you type, and plays music to drive you nuts, has a moving wallpaper, and also it does this every time you open a tab. Hey there, it's Josh. <laughs> yep. So if you open tabs really fast, you can do this. Finally, a browser that understands my needs. <laughs> and you can mix and match, too. Like, let's say you want to hear my stupid voice all the time. You can combine that with the fart key presses and also add some shaders that do different stuff. Like, you can do the cracked screen shader and relive the glory days when you accidentally sent your Wiimote through the family flat screen. Oh, no. Or probably more relevant, you can use one of these to change Discord's theme to colors that are more to your liking. Oh, and I can't not talk about my favorite thing in the browser, the GX Corner, which can show you all kinds of glorious gaming info. I love that it shows me what's free right now, and on top of that, you can keep up with what games are coming out soon. Oh, and also if you download through my link, there's a section that'll show you the last three videos that I've released. Oh, and did I mention the browser is completely free? So if this sounds good to you, check out the link in the description, and you can go mod wild today. And thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring. I love that we had a drink already. Like, cause obvious, if you've never been here before, we have a drink whenever there's um, just an obscene amount of excess. Whenever you go, whenever he goes just a little bit too far, we take a drink. So like already with the opening tabs, already there. I love it. I love that we had excess in the nad read. Okay, first surprised. things first. We need a catchy name for our establishment. Oops, all poison. Oh, and we can change the font too. Let's see, which one really sells us on the poison angle? Oh yeah, there we go. Why would you ever use any font besides this one? Oh, and we can change the logo too. Why is this even an option? And of course we're gonna use it. Okay, ready to begin. So here we are in the start of our cafe. Looks kind of like garbage, doesn't it? That's okay though, we can spruce it up. All we need to do is select from one of these eight bajillion categories. And let's see, which which kind of floor speaks to me? Oh, this is very Sims looking. I like it. I like it. Oh, I like stuff with color wheels. That means we can customize. Oh, this looks like it's going to be terrible. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh, I love it. What an eyesore. And I think I'm going to leave the walls as is because who doesn't like that dual cracked look? Oh, wait, we forgot this floor here. We'll make this floor a little different. Ooh, this one's called Bloody Planks. Well, count me in. Ugh, it's actually kind of nice. And that sickens me. Evil marble it is. Yeah, okay, I can live with that. Wait, I can't take this stunning design outside, can I? Oh, it looks like the outside world is immune to us painting it. That's okay, there's still stuff to do in here. Hey, look at that, and we already got an award. Worst ingredients in town. Hold your horses, game. We're not even open yet. <laughs> anyway, next thing we need to do is furnish this place. We're gonna start with some chairs. Ugh, look at some of this really cozy stuff. Like, look at this vintage sofa. Ugh, you would look so cozy right up against this wall. Or even, ugh, look at this comfortable seat. This comfortable seat called... 
You know, never mind. I'm glad the chair likes seniors, though. And who doesn't really? Anyway, we're gonna go with this piece of crap. The cheap chair. The price is right and the style points are zero. That makes it perfect for us. Oh, God. And if we make it the same color as the floor, you almost can't actually see the chair. But I want to go with a different vibrant color of neon green. It's like we're on a blue screen and a green screen at the same time. And also, that icon is trying to tell me that it's not close enough to a table. Because if we put a table close enough, it stops crying. And we can't have that. And it doesn't really matter all that much because when you exit out of this menu, it goes away anyway. I mean, it still tries to nag you, but that's not gonna stop us. Well, if you're so precious about stuff being close to the chairs, how about we just get it all cozy with other chairs? Oh, wow, that's pretty close. I like what I'm seeing. What about if we flip it around? That's kind of impressive that they can actually get it that close. I mean, again, I'm still thinking sort of Sims mode where they like freak out at you if the chair, if, the, if they're on the same block or close to the same block. Um, pretty good and i love the <laughs> please put a table in please on the other direction how close can this get not that close as it turns out however ah. if we rotate the chair like this we can get a little bit closer wait i think i figured something out okay so check this out if i try to bring this too close it obviously doesn't let me but while i'm this close if i then rotate ta-da you can overlap chairs just like that okay let's rethink this whole design so we've got the one chair and then we've got other chair that we're then gonna rotate into perfection good oh my god and it lets you get so close now i'm so happy about this. Who needs tables when you're gonna have each other's legs? Oh, we can put them along the side here, too. There yeah. we go. I just hope it works, but I guess we'll find out. Literally no one is gonna be able to sit in that, unfortunately. I mean, it would be... It is kind of fun. I would climb over a, a chair leg to sit in something like that, but, like... I don't think that the AI in this game is gonna work soon enough. I especially love all the polygons fighting for space. Well, that should about do it for furniture. Now it's time for employment. Look at all these amazing qualified candidates. I especially like Ann Turner. Age, 25. Character trait, pessimism. Salary, $19 a day. And what's really getting her the job is her proficiency with coffee, milk, art, and speed are all very poor. You're hired. Oh my god, and we can pay her even less? $8 a day it is then. All right, let's get you on the schedule. Let's see. You prefer evening, so let's give you the very flexible shift of 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. I bet you- See, I want to torture the customers, not the employees, so so far, we're, uh, we, we could be doing better. We could be doing better. Can't wait to work. Now that we've figured out employment, it's time for the most fun part of all. The drink menu. Aw, game, it's real cute that you think I would have stuff like regular items. And yeah, it gives us a couple of items to start off, like espresso, and we can add a cappuccino. But like, who's gonna order that? That's snooty garbage. Instead, we're gonna make our own coffee in the coffee editor. We'll start with the very basic 300 milliliter cup for now, and let's name our coffee. Toilet water. Although it's probably not gonna look like water so we can't really do that. So how about toilet contents? <laughs> Much better. Oh boy, here we go. Over here is where we make our actual drinks, apparently. We got all the greats. Espresso, cold brew, and it just keeps going, too. We've got all kinds of milk, all kinds of unlockable milk. Oh boy, and a bunch of syrups, too. Oh, and the fun doesn't stop there. Look at this. We have all oh. kinds of ice cream. Ooh, and extras, too. Heavy cream, eggnog, honey. What else do we have? Special ingredients like fish sauce? Mayonnaise? What? Oh, well, at least there's light mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. You know, for the health-conscious coffee drinker. No, but really, who's putting mayonnaise in coffee? That is utterly disgusting. Let's add it right now. <laughs> Only 25 milliliters? I don't think so. Give me the full 75. Okay, we're doing great so far. Prep time is only 8 seconds, you know, to throw a dollop of mayo in there. And it's a whopping 509 calories. And also, if you look over here in market research, we have 8 different groups, all with their own preferences. And right now, nobody's happy. So let's add some other stuff to see if we can pique their interest. Oh, definitely the mint syrup, right? Oh, no. <laughs> God, it's so awful. And let's see. Let's add in some soy milk hot and cold oh good the kids and the students like it now you know how kids <laughs> and students are they can't get enough of their cold hot mint soy latte with mayo and let's top it off with a big helping of ice cubes Yummy. And I gotta be honest, I feel like toilet contents is the perfect name for it. Now it's time for some toppings. And I don't know about you, but I always crave a little whipped cream on top of my ice. <laughs> and unfortunately, we haven't unlocked sprinkles, but we do have blueberries. I ask you, does it get any better than this? The answer is yes, it does, because you can add more blueberries. How many? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Yeah, I kept adding them until I can't see it adding more, so I don't know if it's doing it. It is making this delightful noise still. 
And we'll go ahead and finish that off with a nice raspberry macaroon on the side. And not to mention one of these weird looking little stick things. Look at that. You can't even tell it's swarming with mayo and soy milk. Ah, the perfect drink. Only costs a little over $4 to make and contains a whopping 1,200 calories. And save. Okay, so let's take espresso off the menu and let's add toilet contents. Yeah. I love that there's no actual coffee in this, uh, in that coffee drink. No coffee. Ever. Yeah. Now we're not ready to go with it quite yet. You see how it's in red? That's because there's a bunch of items that we need for it that we don't have. Because right now our coffee shop is stocked with nothing. And that's where supplies come into play. So I know it doesn't have coffee beans, but we're going to order some anyway. And ordering one unit of 500 grams will be delivered for 489 in three hours or instantly for 254. Excuse me. Oops, all poison is a family establishment. We're not made of money. I'll just wait the three hours. Thank you. And now we will wait. I mean, I think. Not really sure where they're gonna show up. What are they gonna do? Just, like, knock on the door? Oh, wait, what? How did that get there? Hang on, let's order... <laughs> delivery by god a couple more things so we can see that again oh my god that was like freaking like tinkerbell delivery services and right there well yeah of course delivered straight from heaven to my coffee shop oh wait i see what's happening here everything's oh. getting delivered by drone but i guess that's the process at work for you really gives us a nice taste of what our dystopian future is gonna be like and what a beautiful stack of organized boxes you've left for me also my god be careful on that street over there look how fast those cars are going yep no turn signal no stopping no problem all right let's get all this stuff inside thank you random citizens for not stealing things ah and there's the last of our ingredients and as an added bonus our employee is here to work. There you go, drunkenly wander your way in. Hey, and look at that, toilet contents isn't red anymore. Now we can make seven whole cups of this. Something tells me I underordered, so we're gonna go ahead and add espresso back to the menu, just to give people two whole options. Oh, but you know what? Let's edit this recipe a little bit. I mean, look how sad that looks. Let's at least make it worth people's time and money by making it a triple shot with a glorious 222 milligrams of caffeine. But more importantly, we're gonna change the name. Oh God, my heart palpitations and save. Oh my god, I would order that. <laughs> I would order, oh god, my heart palpitations. Although, when I make a when I make coffee at work, I honestly usually do three shots. Three shots isn't that many shots for me. Okay, I think we're about ready to go. We got a drink menu. We've got a board employee. Let's do it. Let's open the doors. Oh my god, and we have our first customer already. Hello, and welcome to Oops All Poison. <laughs> Ah, I didn't realize you would just say the words out loud, but it makes sense now that I think about it, which obviously Ann Turner here knew what that was, because she's a barista. Oh boy, here we go. Are you going to use the seats? Oh my oh, god, yeah. she, she managed it. <laughs> she clipped in, but she managed to sit yeah. there. Perfectly, absolutely normal. I'm happy to see that you're enjoying your delicious cup of mayo and soy. Also, what is this arrow that keeps pointing to this X2 here? Okay, wait, so I have a 2X multiplier. Buy more decoration and collect more style points to increase your money multiplier. The higher it is, the more money you earn with each coffee sold. How does that work? So hang on, are you telling me that if I get my style up to 10, my money multiplier becomes 3? And I have 6 style points right now. So it looks like if we go to our decorations. Each and every item has style points. So this lamp that costs $56 has three style points, which isn't too bad considering if we get to 10, we get a 3x multiplier. I gotta admit though, I don't really understand the logic of the style points. Like this lamp is $56 and gives you three style points, but this little pot is $60 and it only gives us one style point. Okay, wait, so there's gotta be like a sweet spot here, right? Found it. Napkin holders. One style point for $2. Now that's a return on investment I can respect. Okay, oh so I God. can't put them on the ground, at least out here. And I also can't place it on the floor. Oh, I see. It goes on counters and stuff. Oh, and also, I don't know if you noticed, but as we were messing around, our one employee went home. I guess her shift is over or something. That's okay. We'll bring her back when we're done here. But it looks like we can put it on, like, surfaces and stuff. And if we put down a couple of more, now we have 13 style points. And while we do have a 3x money multiplier, we only need 20 to get to times four. Strap in all you napkins because you're about to get held. That's right. We're going to do it of holding for a lifetime. Look at that. We're already at 44 for a times six multiplier. When does it end? Only 80? Everything is in our grasp. Time to put these things anywhere they're going to fit. Okay, so I managed to stack enough of these napkin things to reach 500 style points. What a beauty they all are. I think you're supposed to use this space for like merchandise and stuff, but who doesn't need more napkins? Besides, look at that. Now that we have 500 style points, we get a 15x 
effects multiplier on everything people buy. Oh, and it looks like that's the end. We did it. We're at the highest possible money multiplier. All that, and we've sold three whole coffees. Now just one problem. We don't have a barista here anymore. I can't access the schedule, which leads me to believe she quit. Can't imagine why. So let's see. Let's pick someone else. Christina. Character trait optimism. No. Jennifer Turner. Character trait charisma. No. Ava Rogers. Character trait sensitivity. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but everybody else has that trait. So we'll go with Rebecca Brown because their asking salary is lower than everybody else's. And whoa there, cowboy. I know we hired you for $28 a day, but let's go middle of the road on this one and drop it down to $26 a day. Thanks for joining us. It's going to be a really great time. Yeah, that's the spirit. Make your delicious drinks. See, now there's a happy customer. I like how this woman is sitting over here with a camera on a lanyard around her neck, probably staring at this menu being like, why is all this stuff listed if it's not on the menu? <laughs> because we have delicious treats like this. That's why. Just enjoy the atmosphere. Oh my god, did you see that? When he bought that coffee, we made like $93 <laughs> off of it. We're selling this thing for $6. What sense does this even make? Also, why are you holding your arm like that? Are you on an <laughs> invisible date? Wait a second. Could fake date turn into real date? Ah, and they're ordering the old, oh god, my heart palpitatio NS. I guess I made that one a little too long. No problem. Easy fix. Make my heart hurt. Ah! Okay, yeah, that's much better. $45? Where does it even come from? Oh yeah, this is a good first date. Here comes the airplane. Mmm. Nice to see her holding hands, kind of, while you enjoy your beverages together. Okay, well, I guess that day was short-lived. Uh, sir, what is this? Did you just leave your garbage here? Good for you, citizen. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd the barista go? What do you mean you went home because your shift is over? Wait, can I just take this thing and then just drag it so you have to come back to work? When the clock hits 11 p.m., is she gonna come back? Oh, hey, it worked. Aww. I bet you didn't even have time to change out of your work clothes. Okay, this is great and all, but this is a little too cozy of a coffee shop for me. I don't want to just have one person here at a time. After all, there's enough seats for eight. Oh my goodness, what's happening to you? Why are there flies buzzing around you? Oh. It's because of the garbage. I love it. Okay, I love it when, you know, games like this, where after two seconds of somebody leaving their dirty dishes someplace, the flies appear like, but also I'm just like, come on, let's torture the customers a little bit more and not the barista, poor barista. Oh yeah, that guy's trash. Well, I'm glad you're okay with it sitting right behind you, flies and all. But let's see if we can find a way to get more clientele in here. So first let's make a couple of drinks and we're gonna name this one. Hey you, destroy my taste buds. Don't worry, I've got you covered. So we're gonna start with a little butter followed by a little mayo and then another round of butter and then some more mayo. Look at that, we're already off to a great start. 100 milliliters of liquid, 696 calories. That'll impress them. And now for some mint syrup, and lemon syrup, and chocolate syrup, and raspberry syrup. I really want the mint to pop though, so we're gonna add a little bit more than normal for that one. And we're gonna heat it up with some hot water. Is this even a beverage at this point? Let's just throw some hot milk foam right on top. And now it's time to make that latte art. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of templates already. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. And there's other stuff like the flour, or wheat or a round leaf or we can make our own. Okay, let's see. How does this work? Oh, wow. This worked better than I thought it would. And you can smear it to give it that special look that everyone loves. Who I like to do that kind of thing. Like to because I'm not great at the at just the pouring latte art. I'm really bad at it actually, but I can take a little stick and make things to have hearts <laughs> or like leaves or something. Which is usually what Who I knew that making latte art was so easy? Okay, so let's try and do this for real. Let's see, so first we'll do a line like that. Maybe something a little like this. Okay, it's looking good. And then a little U. Okay. Really stretch my creative muscles with this one. Either way, I think this drink is perfect. Bag it and tag it and it's ready to go. Oh dear, and this item is definitely not ready for prime time. Not only do we need to pick up some extra syrups, but we also need a milk frother. I'm sorry, am I going... I love that it just said milk frother. No. <laughs> Senile? That is literally a milk frother. In fact, she's literally frothing milk right now. What kind of coffee shop is this? Oh, it's this kind of coffee shop where we just sit in this growing pile of trash. But fine, whatever. This one says it doesn't have milk frothers. Fine. We'll go to the next model up. There, now it's a resounding yes. Thank God for the leading brand of Smig. There you go. Look at your new equipment. I can tell you're thrilled. Excuse me, now is not the time to go off duty. Little does she know she's about to pick up another shift. She literally just walked out the door. Let's see how she deals with this. 
Okay, she just vanishes and then stumbles out of the alleyway. Hey, I don't care if you're an ethereal being, so long as you make it to your shift. Yeah, good job, Rebecca. That's really gonna do it. That despondent look always brings in the customers. And now for the missing ingredient, marketing. Okay, let's see. We're gonna market to all of these different categories. And we can't afford it to run for 10 days, but I bet we can afford one day. Good enough for me. Oh my god, we have a line forming. Also, why are you all surrounded in like a torrent of little camera icons? It must be from my marketing campaign. Okay, let's play a little game here. See this person right here? How old do we think they are? 20? 25? 45? Wrong. They're nine years old. It's confirmed. Children in this game are just tiny adults. Okay, well, <laughs> we can confirm the marketing campaign is working because look at all these people coming in. Wait a minute. Instead of running one campaign for multiple days that costs a whole lot of money, can I just run multiple campaigns for one day at the same time? Looks like the answer is yes. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at all these people showing up. All of them with a shroud of being brainwashed by advertising. <laughs> Everybody, come on in. Oh, God, where's our person? Person. Where's Rebecca? This marketing campaign is falling apart. What do you mean she quit? All right, fine. Let's hire someone else. Paul Mitchell, you're going in. Look at this. This person's even ordering before you're there. Oh, God. I hope at least some of these people go ahead and take a seat in this cockpit for eight. Okay, here comes one person. Who's going to be brave enough to join her? Come on. Come on. Finish your coffee. Why are you so slow? Oh, looks like we have a contender. Ah, uh, strangers no more. <laughs> Forever sharing their love of coffee and surrounded in obnoxious little camera things. Okay, we need to speed up the pace here. So let's hire all of these people and let's make sure to put them all on the same shift. Ah, here they are right now. And then wandering around like zombies. Excuse me, what are <laughs> you doing? That's terrifying. <laughs> That's like, just... They haven't had their coffee Are you just yet, horsing apparently. around on your phone? Keep up the good work. You're the smart one. Oh, I guess you can only have like three people on shift at a time or something. But the important part is the line is going much faster now. And thus our seating is becoming more intimate. I can't tell if Wolverine here is horrified or happy about this. He went from like angry to sad to just confused. See, this is much better. Look how many people are sharing this communal seating. I especially like this woman in the back right here. She just wants to be involved. Well, so far this is working out pretty well. Everyone seems to be accepting this setup just fine with new people being added all the time. I know when I've been to a coffee shop, I feel like the one thing I'm missing is being able to smell everybody else's breath. Okay, so I was taking a look at my menu ratings over here. And while we're nice and popular with the seniors and the tourists, we could really stand to make all these other groups like us a little more. So it's making another drink time. Let's go for the tall cup. And instead of looking at all this market research, let's just start adding a little bit of everything and see if this strikes their fancy. So here we go. Cold milk and hot milk and steamed milk and soy and milk foam and more soy. And as I go, I'm smooshing down the layers to make room for more layers. Too many layers? But look how low the cup is. Well, at least the hipsters love it. I bet if we give them more soy, they'll love it even more. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna drink for him understanding hipsters. As good. expected. Oh, you know what I actually realized? Like, sure, I could continue to make my own latte art, which does feel very satisfying, but it turns out I suck at making latte art. So instead of making a mess like this, it turns out we can just put our own images into a folder and it'll import them right into the game. So I asked the internet for something painfully hipster-like. Yeah, I bet that stupid bike and that stupid hat and what looks to be a stupid coat. I bet it all does it for you, doesn't it? I love Wes Anderson films. Oh yeah, here we go. Let the revolution begin. Nice suspenders, you dork. You know, I don't know if I'll ever get tired with how weird this looks. And wildly inappropriate <laughs> for a coffee shop. Oh, did you run out of beard oil? Well, thanks for coming by anyway. I like how now it's just all hipsters coming in. And I think maybe the same ones. They just can't get enough of that Wes Anderson coffee and then an intimate space to talk about it. Yeah, you drink those fancy drinks while you recreate the pottery scene from Ghost. Okay, our line management's getting a little bit heinous. People are getting confused. Something tells me our people are stressed. Whatever, I'm sure it's fine. Why do you have your hands behind your back at the cash register? What are you, a butler? I also couldn't help but notice that no one's sitting down. Everybody's getting everything to go. And I finally realized why that is. I think my trash pile has hit a fever pitch. Something about these icons and this toxic cloud as well as the skull and crossbones. I don't get it. People... I love Love they put a skull and crossbones in it. That's nuts. That's absolutely freaking bonkers. Oh, I mean, 
kudos to the devs on that one. That's freaking hilarious. Just don't want to sit here, I guess. That's okay. We'll just put down some more chairs. So let's put one right here in front of the door. Now you can observe while people come in and out. <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. You're doing great. And we'll put one right here. Oh my god, why does it let me put a chair back here? Well, I'm not gonna question it. I just really hope somebody sits there. Well, so far I like the chairs I've put down. It's so perfect for people watching. You have your choice of being in the way or creepily facing the bathroom. But I think we can all agree that this is the best seat in the house. Where you just sit behind the counter, <laughs> completely in the way of people just trying to make some drinks as you snort the cup into your nose. Oh my god, look at this brave soul. I was here before, it was cool to be radioactive. Shockingly, despite all this floor space, the game actually won't let me place chairs down in any of this area, no matter how much rotating I do. Oh, this is another good seat too. You know, where you get to just observe the outside world. It's an especially unique seat because I really shoved it close to the wall. You know, when you people watch with your legs just jutting out of the storefront. That's okay though, because I realized something else. We can put chairs out here. We can't go past this line, nor can we put stuff right in the entryway. But that's okay, there's still plenty of space. I also learned that if you actually do put a table down, when people sit down to enjoy their delicious coffee, when they leave their trash, they put it on the table instead of on the chairs. That means unlike ground zero in here, where they just left all their crap on the chairs and now nobody can sit there, this remains beautiful, usable real estate. And thank God she sips from her cup and then shoves it into this trash. There we go, look at that horrible disarray. I'm sure you're enjoying your coffee and also your knee that's wedged into the table as you stare off at these buildings and the horrible smoggy sky. So how about something nicer for people to look at? I actually know this cat. This is Stash. There we go. How eclectic of us. Look at I love that though. I would go to a coffee shop that had just a million pictures of a single cat. I would go there. That'd be These funny. amazing conversation pieces. But there's something much more exciting at play here than just having space for people to sit. Because over a long enough period of time, this happens. Full-blown radiation situation. These front seats have all become a beautiful, toxic art installation. Nobody's allowed to sit here, but that's okay. Because there are still some seats where people can sit. I like that if I click on them, it shows me their little portrait, and you can just see all the fumes engulfing her face. <laughs> How does paradise taste? Presumably like a whole lot of garbage. But hey, when you need your coffee you need your coffee but now it's time for one last thing you remember our package drop-off spot i've been thinking about it this whole time and i just have to know is there a limit to how many packages we can order and all i can say is it's time to find out so i'm just gonna order one of literally everything we don't need a lot of supplies we just need a lot of boxes so hopefully this helps do the trick oh watch your head buddy that was a close one okay i'm getting really excited for the process well no one seems that concerned yet they're just navigating around the boxes completely unconcerned about cars and stuff i like how this lady's like well time to go to work oh I think they just blocked the passage. Well, guess I'm calling in sick. Okay, so it's been about an hour now. Box pile is still growing. Cafe in the background still radioactive. So far, so good. Yep, it's been another hour. Now we're enduring this amazing noise. Also, everybody else is just as confused, especially with this metamorphosis happening right in front of them. Okay, so I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is that our box pile is absolutely amazing. The bad news is this is about as big as it gets before the game crashes. Also, amazingly, everything has gone to hell inside the coffee shop. There's toxic fumes everywhere. This woman's been trying to order coffee forever and nobody's here. There's a terrifying wall of boxes right outside the window. Also, as I'm sure you can see, these cars absolutely don't care. Just a minor inconvenience for them. But here's the really good news. It turns out if I pause the game and then hit play again really fast, here's what the boxes do. Ah, and I can just keep doing it too. Nature is healing. And I'm so glad that this woman is still not concerned. She's just annoyed she can't get her Wes Anderson coffee, even though it's not her favorite. <laughs> I want to thank Opera GX again for sponsoring oh this God. video. It's free to download and you can check it out for yourself using my linky in the description. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you next time. Oh my God. The chaos of it all makes me so happy. Oh, the chaos of it all. Oh my God. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. Absolutely unhinged. He is unhinged and I am here for it. Uh, that actually, that game actually looks kind of fun. <laughs> like, I mean, if you go nuts with it. And honestly, I would have fun with the design aspect of the coffee shop because that is, that is also my favorite part in The Sims is designing the house. And then um, I forget to play after after I've built the thing um but but like seeing how like and like it would be interesting too if the uh 
people would get as upset as they do in the sims if you if you screw it up you know like in the sims they'll like freak out at you if uh you things are impossible to get to or if they can't like climb over the pee puddle in the floor or something it's like they freak out at you it's like it would be fun in this game if they would freak out at you but it seems like they they aren't going to do that which is fine you can still cause absolute chaos which you know if you're Josh, I guess that is the end goal. And if you're me, I enjoy watching it. <laughs> like, just let the nonsense unfold. Um, anyway, thank you very much. Uh, if there's something else that you would like me to react to, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Um, because, I mean, and like, if there's more coffee games that you want me to react to, that's great. I mean, I know there was like, the only other one I can think of is that like horror game that I already know about. Um, but other, other nonsense like that, if you have a favorite coffee, let me know in the comments below. And if you've got a coffee that you think is just heinous, you can let me know about that too. Um, I will say that one thing that people order a lot that drives me absolutely bonkers is a iced cappuccino, which just doesn't make sense. <laughs> the cappuccino has got the foamed milk and it's gotta be foamed. And so like, I'm like, do you want me to foam milk and put it on your iced coffee? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what you want. Um, and then people were to like an, and like an oat cappuccino and oat milk and like almond milk and those nut milks, they really just don't foam very well. So it's like every so often with the planets aligned just perfectly and I've sacrificed the right baby to the right God, I can get the get the oat milk to foam, but almost never. Like it's <laughs> And then I'm just like, it's a latte. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't, and I can't bring myself to deliver it and say it's an oat cappuccino. So I just deliver something and I go with oat milk. <laughs> Cause like, it's not a cappuccino. It's not a cappuccino, darling. Just order the oat latte. It's, it's not going to foam for you. Anyway, that's a little frustration of mine. Um, like there's a cut, some, some of them that you can get like the barista blends that foam a little bit better, but we don't have that in my, my job. So. Oh well, thanks again for watching. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get to 100,000. We are getting close. Um, we appreciate y'all so very much. Until next time, cheers.